Hi guys, my name is Greena Gemsicle and I have got the Sims Mobile. Oh my goodness, I'm so, so flippin' excited for this. I have a long time subscriber to thank for this, Ben Brown. Thank you so, so much. What, um, what I think I'll do, rather than leaving a link of how you can get this, I will he send you over to Ben's channel. He also kind of does some vlogs and gaming stuff on his channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the top line of the description. If you go over to his videos and maybe leave a comment on one of them, he may let you know how he got the Sims Mobile and he was the one who told me about it. But here we go, I'm so excited to get started. So the first thing we need to do is enter our age. Slide along the plumb bob. Ooh. If you can hear any loud noises in the background, I do apologise. I am sat by the pool in Singapore at the moment. It's the only place I can find to record and there are some very loud noises going on. I don't know if it's planes going overhead or what the deal is, but it's very loud. I will try and shout over it. Okay, our content has downloaded. Right, welcome to The Sims Mobile. Let's begin by creating a sim. So we have to randomise. Keep randomising until you see a sim that you like. Once you're happy, you can name them. Oh, can we not really customise them? This time, I don't think we can. We just have to have... Oh, I like her. And I am going to call her... Green or Gemsicle. Why not? Seems like we're just going to go through a little kind of tutorial of how to play. This sim will be the first of many that you will play in The Sims Mobile. Let's customise them for now. So let's customise. So here you can change your sim's eyes, nose, mouth and ears. Also in the head part, in the body part, here you can change your sim's body shape and skin colour. And style, here you can change your sim's outfit and hairstyle. Here you can change your Sims personality trait, so it's very much like The Sims 4, kind of how it's laid out, isn't it, with personality traits and things. Feel free to customise your Sims look and personality, tap here when you're ready to play. Okay, so, wow, look at this, okay. So we can change the head and then I think, whoa, that's a bad, bad look. So then you can, whoa, we can have a blue sim, a grey one or a green one. Wow. Okay, so head. Oh, let's go back into head actually because we've got eyes that we can choose from. A lot of customizational options here. We can choose the colour of the eyes. We can, oh, whoa, look, we can really get into some detail here. I'm not sure how much this is changing. Oh, release to apply. Just, I, I don't see eye distance. Oh yeah, look, I can see that that changes, like up and down. Okay, right, we'll just leave it like that. Nose. I like that nose. Lips. Let's go with these. And kind of, I want to give maybe. Oh no, that's. Ah, that's the skin colour again. I want to change the colour of the lips. How do I do that? Can I not do that? I'm not sure that I can at the moment. Okay. Um, cheeks. Oh, I like that chin, I think. And ears. You can't really see them with this hairstyle, so we'll leave it like that. Okay. Body. So, you can change the body shape. Let's go with this one. Muscles. Oh, let's be, should we be very muscly? You kind of can't really see. Let's be kind of very muscly. Again, you can kind of adapt it with the sliders. Belly profile. What does that look at that? Stick the belly out or stick it in. And, oh, extremities. Oh, wow, okay. I mean, I can't really tell. I want the clothes off, really, so I can tell what it's changing. But, okay, we'll... Oh no, we'll go with that. And style, so here is where we can change the hair and makeup and things. So let's go with, we want kind of my, my hairstyle. This is kind of the main, uh, maybe not. I mean, probably the closest. Yeah, that's probably the closest to my kind of hairstyle. So we'll go with that. Eyebrows, ooh. Yep, I like those. Apparel, so clothes. It's probably not going to be... In fact, I do actually quite like what she's wearing, to be honest. 
maybe we'll go with jeans. Yeah, we'll go with jeans. And boots. Yeah, I like the outfit. I will do another video on the whole kind of create a sim within Sims Mobile, I think. But nice. Okay, I'm quite pleased. Oh, accessories. Let's stick some earrings in. Do we want glasses? I mean, I don't wear glasses, so no, we probably shouldn't. Let's just change the trait. I think I'm going to go with artsy. Artsy, logical, and flirty. Three different traits. So we have now finished. So what a fantastic sim. Now it's time to begin their story and see how their life will unfold next. Ah, <gasps> oh, this is so exciting, right? This looks like the right address. Maybe I should take a look inside. Now that you've created Greeno, check out your new house. Ooh, look at this new house. Oh, look. There's me. Oh, I thought I was on the telly, but now it's, uh, whoa, you can really zoom in. Okay, right, so we click on something. So read welcome letter for three seconds. Dear Greenoid, I'm so glad that we found you. You are the last of the Gemsical family. I leave to you this house and a plea to continue the Gemsical legacy. Your long lost aunt, Patricia Gemsical. Hey, Greenoid completed an action. Tap the check mark to collect your rewards. Doing actions earns XP. Gain enough XP to increase your player level. Okay. Oh, knock knock. Anyone home? You must be Greenoid. My name is Bella. <gasps> Bella! Bella Goth? My grandmother was good friends with your aunt. Welcome to the neighbourhood. Looks like my new neighbours are dropping by. I should go and say hi. Right, okay. How much does this just look like The Sims 4? This is amazing. Let's click on her and let's say hi. So you can rush things for like cash, but obviously we don't need to rush anything at the moment. Chatting with a sim grants relationship points. Try another social interaction with Bella. Share stories. Eight seconds for that, was it? We're just having a little chat. And when, when they finish an action, there's a tick above the head. We need to click on that. It's so great to meet you. Let's get to know each other a little better. You've gained enough relationship points with Bella to become friends. Tap on her to start a social event. Ooh. Become friends. Start social event. Starting social event. I have no idea what this is all about. This really does just look like The Sims 4, though. Simpler graphics of The Sims 4, doesn't it? Right. Tap on the sofa to hang out with Bella. So we're doing a social event. Don't know what a social event is, but we'll go with it. Hang out. Come on, Bella. Come and hang out on my sofa. Have a little chat. Oh, we can uh, tick. Doing event actions earns your event points. The more points you earn, the better the reward. So this is kind of like Sims 4 when you have events, isn't it? Now play a game with Bella at the table. Play Never Have I Ever. So there's no real options to kind of do whatever you want at the moment. It is just follow along with the tutorial. Great, now tap on Bella to give her a compliment. Glowing compliment. And we tick that once it's finished. You finish the event. Tap the check mark to collect your rewards. So it's turned into a pink check. And social event complete, become friends. Nice job. What rewards did we get? Oh, level two, new relationship. Bella is now Greenoid's friend. Awesome. Bella will make a great friend. You can view Greenoid's relationship in their info panel. Oh, I wanted to go and check out the info panel, but I'm not allowed, apparently. Being social makes me hungry. If I had a fridge, I could grab a snack. So let's go and buy a fridge. Uh, so this is going to purchase this to advance the tutorial. Right, so I've got to buy it. I don't think... No, we can't do anything else, I don't think, at the moment. Let's just, let's just do what it's telling us to do. We drag it out. Yeah, we drag it out. And we'll put it there and spin. Yes, there we go. I wonder if there's any food in the fridge. I'm starving. Have a snack for 10 seconds. So it's kind of like Sims Free Play in the sense that it's like timed actions. Just having a little apple. Look at her. Oh, right. Tick that. Oh, we've leveled up. You've collected enough XP to get to player level two so we've leveled up we've got two cash thingamabobs phew 
Our fridge wasn't cheap. Greenoid needs a job to earn more simoleons. Of course we do. There's a job opening in Parkside. Tap on a map to go there. Right, so on this map. Ooh. We've got different areas. Home, Parkside, Waterfront, Market Square. Go to Parkside like it's telling us to do. The cafe is hiring. Tap the building to unlock it. Unlock. So it looks like we're going to have to buy them in future. Tap the barista station to join the barista career. Level up the barista career to unlock these items. Okay, let's join the career. Greenwood has joined the barista career. To make simoleons, you have to complete a career event. Okay, let's start. Uh, start a shift. Okay, let's tap on the barista station and make coffee. Am I making it? Yeah, yeah. Am I any good at making it? Ooh, look. Do we kind of level up, do you think, maybe? So click on the tick. Ooh, can we collect this? Collect this coffee. Tap on a customer with a star to serve them coffee. Okay, give coffee to the customer. Now tap, right. I've given them. Oh, I'm busy. Green oil is busy. Oh, now we've got a check, so let's tick on that. Some tables are dirty. Tap on them to clean. Clean the table. That guy was already cleaning the tables. Why did we have to do it? Let's click that. Okay, events are on a timer. To get the best reward, fill up the event stars before the timer runs out. I don't know where the event stars are, so do we need to... Okay, brew a coffee. I think we kind of just need to keep going oh so there we go at the bottom career event active we have four minutes and 43 seconds left so we brewed a coffee so we can now serve the coffee give cappuccino to the customer yeah we just need to keep going oh i see there's a little star there get that pink down at the bottom it's kind of a little bit pink we need to keep filling that up by doing Tasks. Oh, tell coffee jokes to co-worker. Let's do that. Oh, our bar is like half full now. Can you see that pink star down near the bottom? It's almost full. Yeah, there we go. Once it is full, we get a pink tick. And we get a prize. So let's collect rewards. And all that work has made Greenoid low on fun. What do we get? Just loads of money? Yeah, I think we just got loads of money. So that was kind of like one shift. Oh, so we've got fun. We've got five out of ten for fun. Let's go home. Greenoid needs something fun to do. Buy a stereo. Okay. Drag it out. Where can I put it? There. Yes, there we go. Tap on the stereo and dance. So dance. So what have we got? It seems like we've got we've got hygiene, hunger, and fun, and energy. Okay. Greenwood is getting low on energy now after all this activity. Buy a bed. So let's buy a little bed and drag it into there. Tap on the bed to take a nap. Take a nap for one minute and oh, that's two minutes. So sleeping takes a little while. If you don't want to wait, just tap the rush button. I'm gonna rush it, okay, fair enough. Rush. There we go, that nap filled me with energy and gives me ideas. I have some wishes I'd like to achieve. Greenoid now has several wishes. Oh, so these are like whims in Sims 4. Take a closer look, so meet somebody new. Complete a cafe event by a decoration. Ah, Greenoid wants to meet someone new. Tap a stranger. Okay, stranger. Oh, here's a stranger. Hello. Friendly introduction. Hey. I kind of wish I'd met him instead. He looks nicer. Never mind. <laughs> Let's take that. Tap on the check mark. Yep, we've done that. Oh, no, here. Okay, so where the whim was or wishes was, we get a check mark. Oh, and that gives us kind of like XP to level up. Complete all of Greenoid's wishes. Let's go to work at the cafe and buy something. Okay, so we'll go to work at the cafe for another shift. How do we go to work? Briefcase. We click on the briefcase. Okay. And brew and serve. 
Okay, start a career event. So I'm just going to go through and kind of just do the same things that we did in the previous event. I've got a career promotion, level two. That's good. I don't know what that gives us, but we have a career promotion. There we go. We have finished that. We've got a pink tick. Let's collect our award and then let's go and try and finish another wish. I think we needed to buy something, didn't we, to complete the other wish. So let's head home by clicking on the little house icon and collect the rewards from that one. Buy something from your catalogue. Okay, let's buy... Oh, why not? Let's buy this lamp. And click on the blue tick above my head and level up. We have now th level. We are now level three, and we have fulfilled our daily wishes. I'm feeling accomplished, but I feel like I need a bigger goal for my life. Ooh, okay. Life goals are big goals that Sims want to complete before they retire. Ooh, cup of joe, good neighbour, looking for love. Mm. Let's select cup of joe and okay. When you complete a life goal, you'll get a big reward. Tap here to see what to do. Okay, Cup of Joe, buy a coffee machine for home and create a unique concoction. So, let's go in the buying. Oh, it requires barista career level three, so we need to go back, do some more work to get to level three. So certain things are locked and you need to become certain levels of certain things before you can either buy them or have them or whatever. Well, as I'm going through this, so I'm currently career level two, am I? Yeah, I've noticed now I've now got two pink stars that I need to fill out. I only used to have one. Let's go make some more coffee. I only used to have one pink star that I need to fill up. Now I have two pink stars and I really desperately need some fun. Oh look, gain one fun in 1 minute 46, so you automatically gain fun over time, or I'm assuming all of the different uh, needs. Oh, there we go, we have a career promotion, we're now level 3, so we'll be able to do the thing that we needed to do, I can't remember what it was, buy a coffee machine or something, was it? And if we go into our building, so Jitter Mug Coffee Maker, ah, oh, there we go, we can place it up there that costs 25 we have that so now what do we need to do we need to create a unique concoction so if we click on that and I'll create the unique concoction for 10 seconds oh oh she was just getting changed of our work stuff she's not doing anything oh there we go finished great job collect your reward Lifetime happiness points. Okay, so we let's collect that. The more life goals your sim completes, the better rewards you get. Try to finish as many as possible before they retire. Oh, so we get to pick a different one now. Coffee master, new love, feud starter. I mean, let's stick with the coffee master probably. Make a perfectly foamed latte in the barista career. Select that and okay. Level up, level four. Oh, we've got new objects. 17 new objects. Nice. Uh, it's a little lonely around here. Why not make a second sim? Tap on the sim selector. Where? Oh, it's got a little arrow over here to the right. And add. And add a new playable sim. Create a new sim. Use a create a sim ticket. Ah, to add a new playable sim to your household. Okay. We will do that. Okay, I'm not going to go too much, well, I'm not going to go into the Create a Sim with this guy, which I'm going to, like I said before, I'm going to do a special video on the Create a Sim, so we'll just go ahead and add him in. He's outgoing, shy, and flirty. Pick a life goal. Uh, let's pick new pal. Why not? Nice house. I'd really like to have a room of my own now. Oh, we're going to get to add... A room, okay. It's guiding us with a little yellow arrow where we need to go. So room, add a room. Okay, there we go. Let's add this room. We now have an extra room. We need a door, surely. Does it just get? Oh, it gives us a door automatically. 
So a new neighborhood has opened up in town. Right, I am gonna leave it here and in the next episode, we will go and check out the new neighborhood. Let me know down below in the comments what you are thinking of this game. I can't believe I'm playing Sims Mobile. It is pretty awesome. I am looking forward to playing some more. Give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new for loads more Sims Mobile, Sims Freeplay and other games. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.